Hello, welcome. Hope everybody's doing good tonight. Uh, we're looking forward to Christ Kids starting in about two minutes. So I uh, just wanted to get this started, make sure it's working okay, and want to want to get everything going, and we'll get started around 6:30. It looks like we have some people on. This is good. This is my first time doing uh, Facebook Live. So uh, it looks like it's actually working. So I'm um, so uh, excited to have everybody here with us. Kate, come on over here. Kate's going to be helping us out tonight with Christ Kids Live. And uh, we're just going to uh, hold on just a little while because 6.30 right now is the official start time. I see that we have a few people on. How's the audio? Uh, can you give me a thumbs up if you can hear the hear everything okay? How's the audio? Let me know if you can hear me okay. Want to make sure before we do the entire uh, Christ Kids that Hey, Lola, how you doing? All right, I see the trash you're watching. Jasper, how you doing, bud? Good to see you. Uh, loud and clear. That's what most people say when I talk. That's great. Good, to, good that everybody can hear. So I'm going to give everybody a few more uh, seconds to join so that uh, we can get everybody here. Audio's great. Good. Good, good, good. Thanks, Papa. <laughs> All right, D, Macy, all right, this is great. All right, y'all, we're going to go ahead and get started. It is 631, and we are so excited that we're able to do Christ Kids tonight. Caitlin's going to help me with some singing. Uh, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to have singing tonight, and then also for our two songs before our story, we're going to have good old Noah built the ark, and we're also going to have the fruit of the spirit. So I want to make sure that everybody sends in their animals, sends in the fruit request, and go ahead and send those in, type them in, uh, so that we can make sure that we are make this as interactive as possible. And we'll add those animals to no the boat. And we will make sure that uh, we get your fruit in as well. So we're so excited that y'all are here. And go ahead and send those in, and we'll make sure that we uh, capture that and include those into those two songs. We're also going to have a story after we finish our singing. We're going to be focusing on the book of Luke, uh, chapter 8, verses 22 through 25. Uh, so I want y'all to... Uh, be able to uh, hear about that story, and then we'll have a closing song and then a prayer tonight. So we're super excited. Everybody's here. It looks like uh, we're the, the number's rising, which is great. So excited uh, that we have y'all here. Caitlin, are you ready to do a little singing? Yes. Me too. Sorry. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna do some singing. We're gonna start off with. I'm all wrapped up. I'm all tied up. I'm all tangled up with Jesus. So uh, make sure you at home, in your, in your living rooms, in your den, that you're doing it along with us, okay? You ready? Yeah. 
I'm all wrapped up, I'm all tied up, I'm all tangled up in Jesus. I'm all wrapped up, I'm all tied up, I'm all tangled up in God. I'm all wrapped up, I'm all tied up, I'm all tangled up in Jesus. I'm all wrapped up, tied up, tangled up in God. Oh yeah, this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine all the time, let it shine, oh yeah. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine all the time, let it shine, oh yeah. Won't let Satan it out, I'm gonna let it shine. Won't let Satan it out, I'm gonna let it shine. Won't let Satan it out, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine all the time, let it shine, oh yeah. All around the neighborhood, I'm gonna let it shine, all around the neighborhood, I'm gonna let it shine. All around the neighborhood, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine all the time, let it shine, oh yeah. What did y'all say? What? Oh, you wanna go faster? You wanna, they, Caitlin, they wanna go faster. All right, you think we can do a little faster? Yeah. Let's do this, Caitlin. I'm all wrapped up, I'm all tied up, I'm all tangled up in Jesus. I'm all wrapped up, I'm all tied up, I'm all tangled up in God. I'm all wrapped up, I'm all tied up, I'm all tangled up in Jesus. I'm all wrapped up, tied up, tangled up in God. Oh yeah. How was that? What? What did you say? Faster? You want to go faster? Caitlin, we got this. Let's go faster, girl. You ready? Uh-huh. You ready? All right. I'm all wrapped up, I'll tied up, I'll take it up in Jesus, I'll wrapped up, I'll tied up, I'll take it up in God, I'll wrapped up, I'll tied up, I'll take it up in Jesus, I'll wrap up, I'll take it up in God. Oh yeah. I got a head start on you, girl. All right, good job, y'all. That is awesome. I'm so glad y'all are having fun tonight. Uh, wish we could all be together, but you know what? This is the next best thing. That we're all hanging out together. We're able to virtually uh, sing songs, praise God, uh, be together and talk about just what an awesome God we have. We are so excited that you have tuned in and joined us tonight at the Central Church of Christ, Christ Kids. If you're watching and you're not a member here and you're local and you want to know more about the Central Church of Christ, please look us up. We've got a great children's program. We've got a great youth ministry. So we would love to invite you to the church, invite you to the congregation once we get past this pandemic and we get, get people back into our, into our building. We would love to have you. So uh, we're going to keep going and singing some songs. We're going to slow this down a little bit. Let's sing a little Jesus Loves Me. All right. All right. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so, little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. You know, there's a special place in, in God's heart for these children. He loves you children. He wants us as older adults to be more like you. Y'all are an example for us, your hearts, your purity. We love uh, Y'all are such a great role model for us. So Jesus does love the children. But you know what else Jesus loves? He loves everybody in this entire world. It doesn't matter what color our skin is. It doesn't matter who we are. It matters what we are on the inside. Because God does not see skin color. 
God sees the heart and we all bleed red. So we're all together and we're going to sing us a song about that. Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. Red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. Jesus died for all the children, all the children of the world. Red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in his sight. Jesus died for all the children of the world. You know what, Caitlin? We know Jesus loves us, right? Right. We know Jesus died for us, right? Right. Sam said something in his lesson this morning when he was talking about the Lord's Supper, about it was important that Jesus loves us, but he, and he loved us so much that he died for us, which was very important, right? Right. But it didn't stop there, like... Like uh, Sam was talking about in Matthew 27, it didn't stop there, did it? What else happened, Caitlin? He rose from the dead. He rose from the dead. Our God is alive. Jesus is alive. It didn't stop with the death, although that was so necessary. Our God rose, and he is alive. Jesus rose for all the children, all the children of the world. Red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in his sight. Jesus rose for all the children of the world. Man, we've got an awesome God. We have an awesome, awesome Jesus that, that sacrificed himself. And what a great lesson, Mr. Scott taught to us this morning during our worship service about the symbolism of being buried in the watery grave of baptism and coming back up was like the resurrection, that once we came out of the water, we would never die again. Once Jesus Christ rose from the dead, he would never die again. What an awesome, awesome thing, God we serve. We're going to do a little bit of Jesus' love is bubbling over. You ready, Kate? Ready. All right. Jesus' love is a bubbling over. Jesus' love is a bubbling over. Jesus' love is a bubbling over. Alleluia. Mm. Love is a bubbling over. Mm. Love is a bubbling over. Mm. Love is a bubbling over. Alleluia. Mm. Ah, bubbling over. Mm. Ah, bubbling over. Mm. Ah, bubbling over. Alleluia. Mm. Ah, whoosh, over. Mm. Ah, shh, over. Mm. Over, Alleluia. Mm. Ah, mm. ah, mm. ah, Alleluia. Jesus' love is bubbling over. There's so much love that He has for us. It's just bubbling over, and it's so great to serve a Jesus, a God like that. So it's so fun to sing these songs to remind us that Jesus does love us, that Jesus loves all the children, that Jesus did die for us, that Jesus did rise for us, and that Jesus' love is so great that it's bubbling over for us. It is so good to be able to serve a God that is so great and so awesome. So, you know what, Caitlin? What? When we were doing this, that kind of reminded me of something. You know what I was talking about? What it reminded me of when we did the bubbling over? What, what did it remind you of? Roll the gospel chariot. You want to roll that gospel chariot? Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it, girl. All right. Roll the gospel chariot along. We will roll the gospel chariot along. We will roll the gospel chariot along. And we won't tag along behind. 
If a sister's in the way, we will stop and pick her up. If a sister's in the way, we will stop and pick her up. If a sister's in the way, we will stop and pick her up. And we won't tag along behind. If the brother's in the way, we will stop and pick him up. If the brother's in the way, we will stop and pick him up. If the brother's in the way, we will stop and pick him up. And we won't tag along behind. If the sinner's in the way, we will stop and pick them up. If the sinner's in the way, we will stop and pick them up. If the sinner's in the way, we will stop and pick them up. And we won't tag along behind. If the devil's in the way, we will run right over him. If the devil's in the way, we will run right over him. If the devil's in the way, we will run right over him. And we won't tag along behind. Come on up here, Kate. Let's get a little closer to our family that's at home. You know what? Just in case we didn't take care of that devil when we roll right over him, what should we do, Caitlin? Roll back over him. Let's roll back over him. If the devil's still in the way, we will roll back over him. If the devil's in the way, we will roll back over him. If the devil's in the way, we will roll back over him. And we won't tag along behind. Woo! So roll the gospel chariot along we will roll the gospel chariot along we will roll the gospel chariot along and we won't tag along behind all right good job y'all y'all are doing such a great job thank you so much for singing loud thank you so much for sending in those requests amara we're gonna get that apple uh thank y'all so much for for doing all of this. This is so wonderful. We love our Christ Kids program here at the Central Church of Christ. George and Candace Pates, they do such an awesome job with this program and they just continue to make things better. I'm standing in a room that's bigger now uh, and we're excited about that. So we're just growing with the Christ Kids uh, area and you know, George and Candace Pates are a huge part of that. So thank you, George and Candace, for all the time and work that you put in uh, to this. So Caitlin, we've been rolling the gospel chariot along. We've been singing all kinds of stuff. You got anything in your pocket you want to sing about? What you, what you going to pull out of there? I think I got some caterpillars. You got some caterpillars? Yeah. Hold on, let me see if I got some caterpillars. <laughs> Hold on. What? I got some too. Fuzzy caterpillar, he wiggled up a tree. He wiggled long, he wiggled short, he wiggled right at me. I put him in a box, don't go away, I said. But when I opened up the box, it was a butterfly instead. I know I could not make one, not even if I tried. Cause only God in heaven can make a butterfly. How awesome is that? Only our God in heaven can take a caterpillar and change it into a beautiful butterfly. Only our God in heaven, only our Jesus can be raised from the dead. That's unheard of. Our God is awesome. Our God can do anything. So, y'all, I hope you've been sending in some of your requests, some of your animals that we can put on that big old ark. Okay? So, I tell you what. Let's go ahead and start singing, Caitlin. Hey. Whoa! What? Cool Clyde! What up? What's going on, man? Hey, six feet. Six feet, sorry, six feet. I forgot I had to stay six feet away from Cool Clyde. I was just so happy that he's here tonight. I didn't know he was coming. Cool Clyde, how's it going? Doing great. How are you? Man, doing really good, Cool Clyde. Well, hey, we're gonna we're gonna sing a few songs. Uh, did you know that we had some requests that were coming in really? uh, for what to put on the ark? I did. Oh man, Cool Clyde. I cannot get ahead of Cool Clyde. No. He's hey. Cool Clyde's cool. That's why. So, Caitlin, let's go ahead and start singing. And uh, I'll keep my distance, Cool Clyde. Hey. 
But uh, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and start singing about Good old Noah built the ark like I told him to And on that ark he put some Oh, D, he requested an elephant D requested an elephant like God told him to with a woo here and a woo there here a woo there a woo everywhere woo -hoo. good old Noah built the ark like God told him to and on that ark he had some Gavin sent in a panda Gavin sent in a panda oh my goodness Can Caitlin you love pandas and since you love pandas I'm going to let you tell me what pandas say. What do they say? Uh, they roll on the floor. They roll on the floor. Okay, so you want to do a roll roll here and a roll roll there? Oh, yeah. Okay, that's what we're going to do then. So Caitlin's going to be the panda. <laughs> like I told him to. With a roll roll here and a roll roll there. Here a roll, there a roll, everywhere a roll, roll. Good old Noah built the ark like God told him to. That's a good cousin, Gavin. You got Caitlin rolling on the floor. Thanks for the panda. All right, what's up, Gold Glide? Lola says she wants a bulldog. Lola. <laughs> Lola said she wants a bulldog. That's what I'm talking about, Lola. Man, I love it. Good gracious. Oh, I love that one. We got to really bark, okay? okay? Like I told him to, with a roo, roo, here and a roo, roo, there, here a roo, there, a roo, everywhere a roo, roo. good old Noah built the ark. Like I told him to, great one. We got to make sure the bulldogs are on the ark. What you got, Cool Clyde? Well, Parker Ann. Parker Ann. Yeah, she sent in a zebra. Whew, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. You know what a zebra sound makes, Caitlin? Uh. Cool Glide, what's a zebra sound make? We gotta do this right for Parker Ann. Huh? Oh, okay, we got that. <laughs> like God told him to, with a here and a there, here, there, everywhere. Good old Noah built the ark. Like God told him to. Thanks, Parker Ann. What we got, Cool Glide? Jasper requested a giraffe. My man, Jasper Todd. All right, Jasper, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do, we're gonna do a giraffe, and we all know what giraffes have. They have a long neck, like I told him to, with a long neck here and a long neck there. Here a long neck, there a long neck, everywhere a long neck. Good old Noah built the ark, like I told him to. Thanks, Jasper. What we got, Cool Clyde? The Candians, they sent in a meerkat. Oh. <laughs> Oh, a meerkat. Yes, I love the meerkats. Man, National Geographic's got some good shows on the meerkats. Uh, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to have like a meerkat coming out of their, their hole. You know, they got one meerkat that looks out for all the other meerkats. That's my favorite meerkat. So uh, like I told him to with a hop, hop here and a hop, hop there. Here a hop, there a hop, everywhere a hop, hop, good old Noah built the ark, like I told him to. Cool Clyde keeps sending him. Sweet Amara. <coughs> she sent in a pig. A pig, Amara, I've got your pig. We can take care of the pig, can't we? We're going to oink it? All right, like I told him to, with an oink, oink here and an oink, oink there. Here an oink, there an oink, everywhere an oink, oink, good old Noah built the ark. Like I told him to. All right, cool, Clyde. All right, this is the last request. The last request. Lily Kate, she wants a frog. Lily Kate wants a frog. Hey, we got some ribbon in us, don't we, Caitlin? Yeah. <laughs> Are we both going to hop, or just you? Okay, we got cake on a hop. Okay, like I told him to, with a ribbit, ribbit here and a ribbit, ribbit there. Here a ribbit, there a ribbit, everywhere a ribbit, ribbit. Good old Noah built the ark. Like God told him to. Great job, y'all! Thank you so much for sending in this the, your comments. We love it. So now here's what we're gonna do. We're going to sing the fruit of the Spirit like I promised you. And we, got, we want to make sure that we had some fruits coming in so that we can sing the fruit of the Spirit. Cool Clyde. Yeah. Pay attention, man. What you looking at? I'm sorry. I was looking at Caitlin. Oh, you're looking at Caitlin. Okay. Hey, so uh, do you have 
some uh, fruits that some of our viewers have sent in, some of our Christ kids. I'd say we have more fruits than animals. Oh, goodness, we better. Whew. All right, we better get to going then. Don't stop repeating any of the fruits, okay? Cool, blind. Well, okay. All right. Amara and Dee, they, they, wanted, they wanted an apple. <laughs> Amara and Dee. All right. The fruit of the Spirit's not an apple. If you want to be an apple, you might as well eat it because you can't be a fruit of spirit because the spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. The fruit of the spirit's not a... Lola. Lola. And Shep. And Shep. They both wanted a nanner. Okay, Lola and Shep both wanted a hey, banana. Hey, hey. Yeah. Avery said she wanted it too. Avery, Lola, Shep, we got you a banana. But guess what? The banana can't be a fruit of the Spirit. The fruit of the Spirit's not a banana. If you want to be a banana, you might as well eat it because you can't be a fruit of the Spirit because the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. All right, my man, Cool Clyde. Hey, Cool Clyde's so cool. I know. Because he's, you know, you saw how he's taking the different Christ kids suggestions and putting them all together for the same fruits. That's smart, cool Clyde. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, well, speaking of that, yeah. Jasper and Gavin. Jasper and Gavin. They both want strawberries. They both want strawberries. So my boy Jasper Todd and my nephew Gavin both want strawberries. That's right. We got your strawberries. The fruit of the spirit's not a strawberry. If you want to be a strawberry, you might as well eat it because you can't be a fruit of the Spirit because the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. The fruit of the Spirit's not a... Cool Clyde, what you got? Parker sent us in a peach. Parker! The fruit of the Spirit's not a peach. If you want to be a peach, you might as well eat it because you can't be a fruit of the Spirit because the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. The fruit of the Spirit's not a... LK. She's sending an orange. LK. The fruit of the Spirit's not an orange. If you want to be an orange, you might as well eat it because you can't be a fruit of the Spirit because the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Thanks, LK. Angela, she, she liked you to do a pineapple. Angela, the fruit of the Spirit is not a pineapple. If you want to be a pineapple, you might as well eat it because you can't be a fruit of the Spirit because the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Y'all sound so good. Y'all sound so good. I'm glad y'all know the fruits of the Spirit. We need to make sure that we act on these. That we make sure that we have joy every day no matter what. That we have peace no matter what. That we have patience no matter what. Kindness and goodness. Faithfulness that everything's going to be okay. Gentleness and self-control. Make sure you always try to apply those to your lives. What's up, cool guy? I forgot about you, bud. Uh, thank you, thank you. Yeah. We have one last request. One last fruit. And that is from Gracie, and she wants cherries. Gracie, I love cherries. Did she mention if she wanted wild wild cherries or regular cherries or? She said the one without pit. Oh, <laughs> I got you. Okay, okay. So guess what? The fruit of the spirit's not a cherry. Without the pit. <laughs> the fruit of the spirit's not a cherry without the pit. If you wanna be a chain without the pit. You might as well eat it, because you can't be a fruit of the Spirit, because the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Yes, what I'm talking about. Thank y'all so much for tuning in tonight. We're just getting 
larger and larger in number, which I love. That means we have kept your attention up to this point and nobody has gone anywhere. Y'all hang with us because we still have an awesome story that we are going to talk about now. I told you that the story tonight is going to come from Luke. Luke chapter 8, verses 22 through 25. I thought this story would be appropriate for tonight during these times. And I'm, I'm going to show you the parallel of how this is appropriate. So I'm picturing y'all all in front of me like we usually do. Christ kids, everybody's sitting down. Nobody's saying anything. Everybody's being really good. Uh, this may be the most quiet y'all have ever been at Christ Kids, <laughs> but I sure do miss you. I miss you, and I can't wait to have y'all back in this room, and I can't wait to see your smiley faces and to be able to have Christ Kids with y'all once again. One day, Jesus told his disciples to cross to the other side of the Sea of Galilee, so we had the disciples on this boat, and they were going to go across the Sea of Galilee. And they all got into this fishing boat, which was very common, a way of trade, because you had to fish to get your food, to sell. So they all got in a fishing boat, and they were going across the Sea of Galilee. Jesus was tired at this time. Jesus has been performing miracles. Jesus had a lot of attention. Jesus wanted to take a nap. Jesus went to the bottom of the boat. And while he was in the bottom of the boat, Jesus fell asleep. Because he was so tired. And after a while, it was peaceful. Just think about a boat just floating on the Sea of Galilee. And then, after a while, the weather made a change. Some of y'all may see some bad weather right now taking place that's, that's coming through your state. Well, the weather changed and the sky became really dark and stormy. And that gentle breeze became a wind that howled and tossed the boat high on the rough waves. All of the disciples were frightened. Guess who else was frightened? The ones that did this every single day. The fishermen, they were frightened. And they did this for a living. It was scary. All of the disciples were nervous. The fishermen were frightened. Everyone among them was scared. Water began to slosh over the side into the boat. Master, wake up. The disciples shouted, help us, we're going to drown. Jesus woke up and realized quickly what was happening. He stood up and he spoke to the wind and the waves. Peace, be still. He shouted over the wind. Almost suddenly as it had begun, the storm had gone. The boat gently drifted on the water once more. Didn't you trust me, disciples? Didn't you trust me? Where is your faith? Jesus asked the disciples, and the disciples were amazed. How in the world did Jesus do this? What an amazing story. What an amazing story that there was a boat out there floating on the Sea of Galilee, everything's calm, a storm. The disciples are scared, just like me and you would be. And Jesus spoke to the wind and the waves, and everything went still. Jesus rose from the dead. Jesus can speak to the wind and control the waves. Jesus can do anything. Cool Clyde! Here. <laughs> Man, he's awesome. He's so cool. <laughs> what you? What did you think about that story? Cool. Were you listening back there, Cool Clyde? I was, but uh, not good enough because I have a few questions. Oh, he's got a few questions. What's what's your questions, Cool Clyde? I mean, it, it was a great story. Good. But yep. Uh, where were Jesus and his disciples? 
Where were they? Well, they were in a boat. So, yeah, so Jesus and his disciples were in the boat on the Sea of Galilee. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So okay. they were in the water. All right. And, All right. And what was Jesus doing while he was on the boat? Jesus was tired, cool Clyde. Jesus was a busy man. He went down to the bottom of the boat, and Jesus wanted to take a nap. So he took a nap. That's where he was. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why were the disciples so scared? The disciples were scared, cool Clyde. And it doesn't matter how cool you are, Clyde. You would have been scared too. Hey, I would have been scared. This boat was rocking. This boat was going back and forth. Water coming in the boat. They were so scared. It was a bad storm, cool Clyde. Wow. And, and guess who was down in the bottom? Was it Jesus? He was Jesus. And guess what he was? Asleep. He was asleep and he was cool. Just like me. Cool as a cucumber. <laughs> he's cooler than you, cool Clyde. Okay, okay. Yeah, he's cooler than you. What else you got for me? You got any more questions? Yeah, let one more, one more. What did Jesus remind his disciples when they were afraid? Good question, cool Clyde. Jesus reminded his disciples that he could control anything, no matter what the situation. Jesus can control no matter how bad things get, Jesus is always in control. God is always in control. I want y'all to remember this, kids, that it doesn't matter what the situation is. It doesn't matter how covered up you are in this certain situation. Jesus, God, are always in control. Hey, well, you know what? Mm -hmm. Jesus can do anything. I know. Jesus, Jesus can do anything. And, and one thing that I think is awesome about this story is, kids, y'all are here with me tonight. Y'all are here at Christ Kids, when normally we would be right here all meeting in this building. And the reason you're not here is because there's some sick people out there. And we're doing what we're supposed to do. Stay at home so that we don't get sick. And so that other people don't get sick. And some people might say, well, I want to go out. I want to be with my friends and family. I don't understand this situation. Why, mommy, why, daddy, can't I be with my friends? Why can't I see my family at church? Explain this to me. Why would God allow this to happen to, to, to this? Why would he make this situation like this? And what I want to tell y'all is Jesus is still in the boat. He's right here. He's right here. He's with us. He hasn't gone anywhere. The situation has changed, but God is in complete control of this ship. And not only the ship, he's in complete control of the winds and the waves. He's got it under control. So we have to have faith in that. Hey, Todd. What's up, Cole? There is nothing our God cannot do. There is nothing our God can't do. Hey, that reminds me of something. What's that remind you of, Caitlin? Our God is so big, the song. Our God is so big. Our God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do for you. Our God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do for you. Hey, I'll tell you one thing. I have had a blast with y'all. Thank you so much for, thank you so much for tuning in with us tonight. It has been wonderful to have Christ Kids go on. And I want to thank the High Notes for getting this started. Even though we weren't here congregating at this building, the church is still alive and well. And the High Notes started this Two weeks ago, thank you to the Welshes for continuing that. And this was our week. And the High Notes will do it again next week. So I want y'all to tune in next week, next Sunday at 6.30. We're going to do this all over again. But I just love the fact that y'all took the time out of your Sunday night to tune in with us and to be able to worship our God together through songs, through stories through verses, God's word. It's just been a wonderful night, and I really, really appreciate y'all 
tuning in. I would love to close with a prayer, but don't tune off yet after my prayer. I've got one other special uh, thing I want to share with y'all. Let's go to our Father in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much, Lord, just for your presence. Lord, we thank you for all of these children, all of these parents, everybody that's watching right now. Lord, I thank you for your presence in our lives, no matter if it's we're on top of a mountain or in a dark valley, we know that you are there with us. Lord, I thank you for being with us and helping us through these rough times. Lord, we know you are in control. I pray that you give each and every one of us more faith. Give us faith to know no matter what, you are there and you've got it all taken care of. Lord, I thank you for always being there for us. Lord, I ask you to be with the sick at this time. I ask you to be with those who may be hurting at this time. I ask you to be with those who may be lonely at this time. I ask you to be with those who may not know you at this time. Lord, I pray that we'll be able to reach out to those around us and introduce you to, the, to them. Lord, we just thank you for a great day of worship. We thank you for the gentleman that led our worship service this morning. We thank you for this opportunity tonight. And in Jesus' name, we faithfully pray. Amen. All right. Cool, Clyde. I just want to say and introduce to you two more people that made tonight Unbelievable. Starting with Luke Gay. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's hear it for Luke. Woo Good job. And the one working behind the scenes, answering all of your comments that were coming in, making sure all the animals got on the ark, making sure you knew that the fruit of the spirit was not an actual fruit. Melanie Gay. All right. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for tuning in. We have had a blast with y'all, and we can't wait uh, to see you soon. And you know me. It might be too soon, but I want to give everybody a hug. Love you guys. Bye-bye.